Hi, I'm Betsy Alice with the Sheboygan County Chamber. Welcome to Love Where You Live, our monthly magazine, or your monthly magazine, of all the very special things happening in and around Sheboygan County. This morning's guest, I have Beth Smith. Beth, <laughs> Pam Smith. She told me her name was very easy to remember, so I just <laughs> forgot it. Um, Pam is the newest entrepreneur in downtown Sheboygan and has opened a wonderful shop called the Lost Sheep Yarn Shop, mm -hmm. and it is right on the corner of Pennsylvania and 8th, just around the corner from 8th Street. Very colorful, lots of fun, and we're going to talk a little more about it, but first I'm going to ask, how did you come up with that name? The name is really special to me. Um, I was um, contemplating doing this for a very long time, and um, last fall, my husband said to me, um, I am behind you 100%. If you want to do this, let's do it, um, but you, you have to do the work. And um, my, my husband is the pastor at First United Lutheran Church. Ah, yes. And I was sitting in church on a Thursday night, and he was preaching, and um, he started talking about the lost sheep. Because I knew how to sell the yarn. I didn't know how to get to the business, through the business part of it. And he was talking about the lost sheep in the, ser in the sermon. And... Um, I thought, wow, that, that's exactly how I feel. I feel lost. I don't know how to get from point A to point B. And I just, I felt this, um, this release, this, like, Pam, you can do this with a lot of help, wow. God's help, my husband's help, my family's help. And um, I got in the car after, after worship that night, and um, I said to my, my husband, um, I'm going to do this. I can do this, and I'm going to call it the Lost Sheep Yarn Shop. I always want to remember, you know, where that name came from, and and the help I've gotten along the way. So I call them a lot of God moments along the way. Wonderful story, wonderful story. And no wonder the shop itself seems so inspired. It, that, the name is really, is really personal. And yeah. um, you know, every, every day when I walk in there, um, I still can't believe it's actually happened. It's actually come mm -hmm. together with a lot of help and a lot of, a lot of uh, support. Before the show, we were talking a little bit about the idea of the business plan and the process that you went through. Can you just tell us a little bit about that? Because I think that's the part people kind of take for granted, and I want them to know what kind of work it, it took. It, it, is, it is a lot of work. Um, when, I, when I got past the part where you know, I knew I was going to do this, I talked with Jacqueline Stewart from Vintage Wine out in Elkhart Lake, and um, she she said, I know, I know where you're at. You're like, you're standing right there ready to jump, but you have to make sure you have everything in place. And she said, you don't have to go through this alone. And she put me in touch with Jim Schuschler from the Sheboygan County Economic Development Center. Mm -hmm. And I met with Jim the last week in September. And um, of this, just of this, this past, past September, year. everything okay. came together very quickly. Um, and he said, wow, you know, you seem like you're ready to go. Like you've really thought this through. So he said, you know, we talked about a business plan. And um, the business plan was extremely important. I would not recommend anyone jumping into anything without doing a business plan. There were no surprises, but they really made you, you know, put you through a thought process that you really need to think through a lot of, a lot of things that you, know, you might not if you just jumped into it. Mm -hmm. And you really have to know that your plan is, is well written. So um, with Jim's guidance and um, Chuck Bryce from the SBA, um, they guided me through the process. They had, you know, I, I wrote it and I worked a lot of hours on it. Uh, it took me about six or seven weeks to put it all together and meet with them. Nice. And by the time we were finished, we had, we had a really nice plan to, wow. to build from. That's exciting. So mm -hmm. then, then somehow you decided to be in the location that you're in. Can you tell us a little bit about how one goes about doing that or or what kind of magic there was involved. <laughs> that, was, that was a process, too. Um, once the business plan was done, they asked me, you know, do you, have a, do you have a place in mind? And I didn't. You know, it was like each step I kept waiting for someone to say, you know, Pam, this isn't a good idea. But no one did. They just kept saying, this is really a good, a good plan. So um, um, I, I was, my husband and I were walking downtown just looking at different businesses and, st you know, stopping at different places and, and kind of taking it all in. And um, Pat Ortlieb, who did all the work mm -hmm. at, at the, play, the, the site I'm at, had Art and Soul in the front. And we saw him standing outside. He waved to us. And when we got done, my husband said, let's, let's go see what Pat's done to June's. So we walked in there, and, and uh, Pat asked what we were doing downtown. 
and I told him I was looking for a spot to open a yarn shop. And he thought for a moment and he said, come here. And he showed me the back area and he said, what do you think of this area? And that's how we ended up where we're at. So that was one of my many God moments that, you know, we weren't Excellent. looking there. We just happened to walk in there. So yeah, very, it very fits nice. really well. Very nice. So you brought with you today a few of the things that you feature in your store that, that I should say that other people can knit also, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that you brought us samples. And I was particularly, so we had a ribbon cutting at yep. your shop a couple of weeks ago, and I walked in, and what she's wearing right now was on a, sort of a mannequin in the mm -hmm. front, and I just fell in love with it and thought, wow, even I would like to learn to knit to be able to do that kind of work. I mean, it's a work of art. Thank you. My sisters um, have been huge in helping me um, put together some shop models. I had, I had quite a few pieces that I have made, mm -hmm. and um, all of my, I have three sisters up in the Green Bay and north, north of Green Bay area. Yeah. They've come down to help, and um, each time they come down, they, they take something back with them to knit for the shop so we can show. Uh, my goal is to have a, a sample of each of our yarns so people can see what the yarns do. And so you can see how they feel when they're mm -hmm. knit together, and it's so much different than seeing them on a, mm -hmm. whatever you call the ball of yarn. On a skein, yes. So yeah, so let's just take a look here. That's actually made with, um, with sock yarn. Okay. And um, there's sock one. Sock yarn. Sock right? yarn. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's a, a, um, a thinner yarn. And with that one, the, the lime green runs through the entire piece, and the other, um, colors just kind of mingle in with it, but the but the lime green is taken through the whole piece. And it's you can't see this, but it's very soft. So yeah, that's a beauty. And then here we have that's um, that's a pretty advanced piece that's made also with a thin yarn with sock yarn. Um, that's made with charts that where you read charts um, back and forth. Um, all, the, all of these pieces we have on display, we have the patterns available, and um, everyone who works in the shop knows how to knit. So we have oh, a, nice. a full support staff. If you run into any problems, you can come in and, and, and ask for help. And classes. Tell we, us about those. Um, we have everything from beginning knitting and beginning crocheting all the way to advanced. Um, right now we have a, last month we had a beginning knitting, actually we, we ended up having two of them because we had so many people interested, so we ended up splitting the class into two. Um, we have workshops, this past week we had a workshop on striping your yarns without having a little jog in it, so we have a hat that we worked on on Saturday morning. Um, we have a class coming up this Saturday where we're going to actually take, it's, it's this wool, um, it's a bag that we're you make large and then you felt it into a felted bag. So it would be kind of like oh. washing a, a wool sweater. And so pretty much, if I were going to learn to knit, I would come to your shop and I could find really anything I need to, do, to accomplish a pattern or to begin to make socks or whatever it is I would like to do. Absolutely. We have the, the needles, the yarn, the patterns. Um, the support with the staff. Which that, is the can, most important part, is, by the it way. It is. We have a lot of people coming in just asking you for help if they've made a mistake or if they're stuck on a pattern and we can keep them moving on it. And if that, they've never held knitting needles. If they've never held knitting <laughs> needles. I love when people say you'll never be able to teach me to knit um, because I'm left-handed because that is not uh -huh. a problem and we've always been able to to get through that. So. Well, I want to just congratulate you and for all your hard work and Thank you. your entire family and friends, all the people who have supported you, I know you have. I, you, I feel you're so lucky that you have so much family close by. I am able to help. I am. We and we had, we had a lot of help from friends. We had friends from Appleton come take vacation days to come and help build mm -hmm. um, some of the equipment, um, the checkout counter. We've had friends um, while we're in the process of getting receiving our yarn. We had friends walking off the street and just say. I have a half hour, what can I do to help? Um, oh, wow. It really came together quickly. So. Well, many congratulations Thank you. to you. And I look forward to having you back on the show in another couple of years, and you can give us a progress report. That sounds good. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks so much. Welcome back to Love Where You Live, uh, the Sheboygan County Chambers. Look at all the wonderful things happening in Sheboygan County. 
This morning, we have another wonderful guest, Jane Davis Wood, who is the owner of one of my favorites, the Relish Kitchen Store in downtown Sheboygan. Jane, thank you for being with us this morning. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, and congratulations on being nominated for the, you know, top retailer of 2016. It was really an honor. Yeah. We had a lot of fun at the gala, too. Oh, good, 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 good. One of my favorite parties. Mm -hmm. um, so, you've been here since 2013. It yep. hardly seems possible. It went by so fast. Yes. I know, and people are still discovering us. Like, when did you get here? Yeah. Uh, four years about, ago. <laughs> tell me about your evolution, how you came to be. Well, I've been in retail for, in, in many levels of retail, from assistant, um, assistant clerk all the way up to corporate and everything in between. So I've been doing that for 21 years. My daughter, who's my partner, has been in um, retail at a corporate level her entire career. So between us, we have like 60 years of um, uh, retail experience. Wow. And um, retail is changing and when you're at the store level. And I was running a very, very large department store here in Sheboygan. And then I went to a corporate at a discounter in Green Bay. And um, the hours that, that is required, especially during the Christmas season, you know, I mean, is, was getting to be, you know, mm, there's a better way. You know, I've really learned everything I need to learn about this business. And started researching, you know, because, you know, when you're in a department store, it's many different areas at its own store. So actually, I've run a clothing store. I've run a shoe store. I've run a furniture store. So which one of those stores one, doesn't Sheboygan have, and two, um, would be the most successful because it's, um, you know, and that came down to the housewares and that because the great thing in, uh, in my research was that it's one business that does not ever see a recession because mm -hmm. when times are bad, people eat at home, and when times are good, they want better stuff. So it's always very even. Matter of fact, during the height of the depression, our industry continually saw a 14% increase every single year. Oh so, God. and then it's like, well, Sheboygan hasn't seen a shop like this for quite a while. Mm -hmm. They've had a couple in the past, but not um, experiential. So, um, we decided, and then it was finding a location. And uh, the Economic Development Corporation really helped me with um, traffic counts and presented me with an 80-page study to add to my business plan. And it landed that downtown is really where you need to be. Now, I took that information and went to my buying group because we discovered there are buying groups out there for this, this world. So our buying group has 500 stores across the country. The most successful ones are in a downtown. So, given the type of kitchen store we are, we're not a warehouse kitchen store. We're not, you know, um, a restaurant supplier. We are the gifted kitchen. So, mm -hmm. um, and with uh, all the amenities that are downtown existing um, and the new things that are coming, with, okay. we're very excited about having 80 new kitchens right next door. Exactly. Um, yeah, the new and apartment the, building. Right, and then the new apartment buildings down on South Pier and the projected um, one closer to Cyril and Methodius. Um, so there's uh, a lot, and people are going back to the kitchen in a big way. Mm -hmm. um, they don't want that frozen lasagna anymore. You know, they want all the fresh ingredients, and they want to, now they don't know how to do it. So um, that's our job as an experiential retailer is to um, do a lot of hands-on and really want to play with that knife, let's go. And uh, so that it um, sets us apart from buying online and makes it um, mm -hmm. a more fun experience. So a site came available in downtown and we um, really just jumped on it because it was in what I consider the trifecta of the downtown area, the, the area that's bounded by um, John Michael Kohler Art mm -hmm. Center, the Stephanie Weil Theater, and the library right. and in that triangle, and, and our store landed in that area. And it was just like it's been um, a great location. So we're very happy we landed there. It took a while to get there, but we got there, and the store is been um, so much fun ever since. Well, and I, I'll particularly point out some of my visits to the store, 
you know, I always go in really with nothing special in mind. Mm -hmm. I love to cook, so I'll always go away with something unique and unusual or brand new, some new way to think about some process that I've been doing by hand. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you mentioned earlier a garlic twister. Um, mm -hmm. I had purchased one of those probably a year and a half ago. I use it all the time. Yeah. Any other Well, the gizmos, garlic twist is them? our number one selling gadget in the store, mm -hmm. followed by um, two things. One was the cheese knife. Uh, the cheese knife is a cantilevered um, rosin knife that cheese will not stick to. And so we will go out to Kohler Food and Wine every year and we'll lay out a nice charcuterie and have people start slicing. We lay out four of the knives and they think, oh, a treat. Mm, what kind of cheese do I want? They pick up the knife and they slice. And they go, what? And so in, in, we'll sell 50 in a day. The other thing is we were just talking about is the angry mama. She was um, mm -hmm. such a fun little hit this year. Um, um, when I was in the working world, I always seemed to be the manager who um, had to take care of the employee lounge, and I was the angry mama with the microwave, things exploding mm -hmm. in there. So the angry mama is this little tiny girl, and she's just so mad. She's got a scowl on her face. She's got holes in the top of her head. So you fill her with vinegar and then water and put her in the microwave for six minutes, and she starts spinning around, and pretty soon she's steaming mad at that dirt, and all you do is just wipe it clean, and you have a beautiful microwave again. Wow. That's, I, I think it's time for me to make a visit again. Yeah. Sounds like. Now, there's another reason it's time to make another visit, and that is all of the new expansion. You, you mentioned the word experiential retailer. Yes. I think that's really important and that mm -hmm. differentiation with internet purchasing. Yes. Now you're opening next door and it's going to be an amazing new addition it's, to your um, ability. We um, have um, opened up at least uh, another 1,200 square feet of selling space. But in the rear of that is um, a teaching kitchen. It is just beautiful. So the space is, um, we partnered with all of our um, local partners. So um, Jordan Dassau did the original ki uh, kitchen design. Um, Richardson's oh, yeah. followed through with, the, with the, the cabinetry and the countertops. Um, we partnered with Bitter Newman to help us with the culinary side of their business to get um, mm -hmm. the range tops and ovens, um, Dalmas with the floor. Um, so, beautiful. yeah, the Kohler's um, you know, and their beautiful um, sinks and, and faucets. So this is a local kitchen. Absolutely. It sounds like a Chamber of Commerce kitchen. It is. It's just <laughs> beautiful. It turned out so gorgeous. And in that space, we will be offering very shortly, um, we should have our class schedules up by May, um, we'll be offering, uh, first of all, demonstration. Um, classes where we will watch a chef and and get plenty to eat but learn techniques by watching. Our favorite will be the hands-on where you're actually going to make the pasta. How do I make spaghetti? How do mm. I use this knife safely? How do I bone a chicken? Um, how do I do uh, what are tapas and how can I make them for my family? And um, the our focus will be um, healthy cooking for your family. You know, it's a treat to eat out. Um, mm -hmm. Not always the best ingredients, I mean, the best ingredients go in obviously, but too much of the good stuff <laughs> sometimes. So, I mean, it's not some way you want to eat every single day, that is a treat. So we want to show people that um, there's a healthy way to put your meal together. How do you batch cook? That's turning into a really big thing right now. It's the batch cooking on Sundays. For busy families. For busy, busy mm -hmm. families. Or how do you shop a farmer's market? So here's a bag, here's $5, go get it. Bring it back and we'll show you how to make it or we'll have it chopped. We also plan on doing um, team building uh, sessions okay. with um, corporations and offices, um, get the team together and let's all make something as a group and have a little competition. Um, we're doing canning classes, which will be very oh, nice wow. in the fall. Um, it will also be an entertainment venue for some of our resorts, so um, be, their, their guests can sign up for special sessions just for the guests. And um, we'll also be renting it out for uh, showers, bridal parties, cocktail parties, whatever. It's a beautiful venue oh, for, for 30 
30 people or less. So it's hard yeah. to find a small venue. So um, that being said, it is a beautiful spot. Um, it is a, the normal second phase for um, a successful okay. kitchen store is to add that um, uh, venue where people can gather. And, and it's also a place where like somebody's really on the edge about a product, whether it be an air fryer or a Vitamix or right. uh, that $165 chef knife. Um, well, let's go to the kitchen and try it out. Why don't, okay. why don't you make a smoothie? You know, it's right here. There's a cappuccino machine. You don't have to take it home and learn it. Let's learn right here, and then you can go home and think about it and decide. You don't just go home and set it out on the counter and look at it for a couple of weeks? Right, that's it. <laughs> that's it. And then, I've done that before. Or so. buying knives online, it, it, that's a concept that's always baffled me, it, you mm -hmm. know, because every knife has to fit your hand. Right. And it doesn't have to be an expensive knife. It can be the twenty nine ninety nine knife if you prefer the feel of that. But how are you going to know? Right. You're going to be taking and returning and taking and returning and taking and returning. And what kind of a carbon footprint is that? So um, we're, we uh, expect um, um, a lot of people to come and play with us. Excellent. Well, we're glad you're there. Mm -hmm. We're glad you're expanding. And mm -hmm. I encourage everyone, your hours are... Uh, 10 to 5.30, we'll be, um, we just ran a huge survey uh, for people to tell us when they would take a class. And there's a lot of evenings and what nights they would like to take classes, so we will be um, following that schedule. So you'll be seeing us open more evenings now. That's fabulous. So for the audience, Relish Kitchen Store, one of our nominations for the top retailer of the year in 2016. And Jane, thank you so much for being with us. Um, looking forward to your expansion and to future success. Well, thank you, and thanks to the Chamber for all their support. You're so welcome. Welcome back to Love Where You Live, the Sheboygan County Chamber's monthly magazine of what's going on, what are the best things to see and do here on the lakeshore. I'm Betsy Alice, and I want to put in a little plug today for an organization that if you know anyone, a young professional between the ages of 21 and 40, um, definitely they should be a part of this organization. Uh, it's called Coastal Young Professionals Network. And what it is, is an opportunity to experience a whole range of activities um, with other young professionals throughout Sheboygan County and even in the state of Wisconsin. It is no cost to join. You simply go to sheboygan.org slash coastal and sign up. Uh, very simple to sign up and then you'll start receiving notices about the events that are going on. Um, if you're a parent of someone of that age group, please send this message to them. Uh, because it's really a valuable connection to make. Um, and on that note, I want to talk a little bit today about YP Week, Young Professional Week, in Sheboygan County. Every year for the past three years, this is our third year, uh, we host a number of events each day of that week to commemorate and to uh, engage the young professionals and other business people in our county. Um, this year's event is going to start with a huge, a very big uh, kickoff event that will be inviting young professionals from all over the state of Wisconsin, 25 other communities, to attend. This event is, is called Very Big in Sheboygan. It's going to highlight a lot of the products and services that we have here that make us a special place to work and live. Um, they will, the other young people will be coming in on buses from these communities, and we will have a variety of um, top leadership in our county at this event. There will be lots of brats and cheese and uh, lots of other young people to meet, as well as some of the leaders in our community businesses. Uh, there will also be great entertainment. This is going to be a, a very big, <laughs> that's the name of it, a very big event in Sheboygan County. We are the first of the communities to host this kickoff event, and it's on Saturday, April 22nd. And again, all of this is at sheboygan.org coastal. Um, then on Sunday, that's 
the next day, the 23rd, we are going to have an event called Sundays Are for Brunch. Another chance to get together in a, in a less formal way for all the young people to have a great meal and to get to know one another. Um, on a, April 24th, a Monday, we have behind the scenes at Torquay Coffee, one of our historic and very successful family businesses in Sheboygan County. You'll be able to have a wonderful tour, sample some coffee, um, which we all like to do. And uh, again, this is for the young professionals in our, in our region. Um, on April 25th, we have a workshop with a special guest speaker talking about leading across generations. You know, how do, if you're a young professional, how do you deal with the baby boomers in your workplace? You know, how do you deal with those Gen Xers? Um, how do you work most effectively using everyone's greatest talents uh, to the best effect? That's leading across gener generations on April 25th. <clears throat> and then on April 26th, we have a lunch and learn with the power of Google Apps. So they're going to talk about and, and show as examples some of the most powerful Google Apps that you can use in your business and your personal lives. And this again is for our young professionals group. But others are also invited to these events, um, especially the workshops. I should make that note. Um, the workshop on April 25th about leading across generations and this power of Google Apps are both open to um, anyone of any age, any professional um, in Sheboygan County. Um, on April 27th, we have a pop-up, and that's just a, that's a quick meet-up kind of event around a new endeavor in Sheboygan called SOUP, S-O-U-P. Um, and this is a, a, an organization that forms around a project. They develop an important project that needs to be accomplished, and, and people meet up to make that happen. On April 28th, again open to the public, we have an event called Food for Thought with Trig Jacobson. Trig is a longtime Sheboygan um, person who's, whose family used to own a, a major advertising agency here and who now is part of Jake's Cafe. And Trig will be um, doing that Food for Thought session on April 28th. I have heard him speak. He's amazing and you'll want to be part of this opportunity. And then on April 29th, to round out the week, we have what's called a Young Professional Experience, and it's going to focus on defense. Um, this will be some members of our law enforcement organizations coming to teach young professionals how to, how to um, take care of themselves uh, in, in case something should happen. Um, so that's our YP Week. You can find that information on the Facebook page for Coastal Young Professionals or on the website at sheboygan.org slash coastal. And <clears throat> we have some special sponsors for this whole week of events that I want to thank. Um, one is Kohler Company, uh, also Thrivent Financial, and Sargento have all stepped up to be partners in this week of incredible uh, opportunities for our young professionals. So please um, make a note and pass it on if you know someone who'd like to attend. Everyone is welcome. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time on Love Where You Live by the Sheboygan County Chamber.